the uh, set of uh, typical uh, uh, gate problems we selected uh, for video solution in the area of uh, transient analysis of networks the first problem considered here is uh, the problem of uh, gate uh, 1992 is of two marks it's in the area of transient analysis uh, we'll read out the problem first uh, it says that for the compensated attenuator of figure the impulse response under the condition R1C1 equals to R2C2 is and there are four options given here A, B, C and D there are four options and uh, we have to find out uh, uh, which is the right option and the corresponding figure given is uh, uh, this is a compensated attenuator R1C1 and R2C2 it's uh, basically a divider circuit and C1 and C2 have been the uh, compensating capacitors being used here ok now uh, we start with the problem uh, the solution is uh, uh, we have to find out the impulse response the best way to find the impulse response is to find the impulse response in the transform domain instead of finding the response in the time domain uh, we can it is easier to find it in the transform domain uh, we will see here it is a network hs is the transfer function v1s is the input and v2s is the output for this transfer function uh, for this network then uh, we can see for this two port network uh, v2s is given by hs v1s this is uh, for this uh, network where hs is said to be the transfer function and uh, if uh, v1 is uh, uh, v1t is uh, say delta t the impulse then in the transform domain uh, it is v1s and it is unity ok so uh, we can say that uh, v2s equals h2s for the uh, in the transform domain so it is easier to find uh, v2s and that will give me the transfer function so uh, how do we proceed is we know here that hs is uh, v2s over v1s and uh, v2s we can write from this potential divider arrangement that this will be the impedance of the network here that R2C2 impedance of this divided by the impedance of both these will give me the voltage across this that will give me the transfer function ok so this Z2S over Z1S plus Z2S where Z2S is R2 in parallel with capacitor C2 so the reactance will be R2 in parallel with 1 over C2S this will be the reactance or uh, this will be the corresponding impedance now here Z1S will be R1 in parallel combination with the reactance of C1 so 1 over C1S so Z2S will come as R2 1 over C, C2S divided by R2 plus this so this simplifies to this and Z1S <coughs> simplifies to R1 over R1C1S plus 1 once we know the values of Z2S and Z1S we can substitute in this relation and we can find the value for V2S over V1S we just substituted these values and the condition which is given here is R, R1C1 is R2C2 and when we apply this condition to this uh, equation here we simplify to get HS as V2S over V1S that is R2 over R1 plus R2 now uh, we notice here uh, if V1T is delta T being an impulse the V1S is 1 so 
uh, we can take uh, here v1x is 1 so we can find here v2s is equal to r2 over r1 plus r2 and you take inverse transform of this that means hs you take inverse transform you will get uh, this v2 v2t v2t will be equal to r2 over r1 plus r2 delta t delta t is the impulse so you can notice here uh, we could find uh, the uh, output here uh, as an impulse response here and uh, as for the choices given here this uh, option uh, B is the right choice for this uh, impulse response here for this circuit okay thank you